Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I've decided that I am tired of my YouTube channel just being music uploads like Ableton stuff. So instead, I'm gonna play a game. Yeah. And what game will that be? That's right, I'm playing Amnesia at the Dark Descent. I'm just gonna select this one and then start a new game. I have played the game a bit, but fortunately for this video, I don't really remember much about it, so I'm just gonna start a new game. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? You move the camera. Crazy. Don't forget. Oh, I can Don't walk around as well. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... It's Daniel. I am Daniel. I like how the low resolution texture just makes the game look like pixel art. It fits the indie game style. I can still move my camera. This is pretty cool. I like when games let me have control even though I don't have control. Feels nice. Add it to the journal. Oh, notes are in view. I mean. Liquid trail. That's it. Take this with me. What the hell is happening here? What is this? Alright then. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, so now I can light up the candles. I guess I'll just keep following the, uh, trail. I remember the first time I played this game. Uh, a, a few things made me stop wanting to play it because I was just, like, very, very anxious. But now that I've, like, gotten through the, the I, uh... This section being very cool to me. The fact that it's just like the walls are closing in on you. I wonder how they did that. Just keep following the trail.
I don't want to stay in there. Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. Keep following the trail. Gonna be a part where I stop playing. And so everything will just be new to me. And that's when it's gonna get interesting and fun. Right now, I'm just reliving things that I've done already. What the hell? I remember that, that freaked me out. <laughs> my own lantern. It was really cool physics, I'm not gonna lie. tell you why but know this I choose to forget try to find comfort and strength in that fact there is a purpose you are my final effort to put things right God willing the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you if not this will sound horrible go to the inner sanctum find Alexander and kill him his body is old and weak and yours young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. All right then. Continue on now. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old trailer at Brickley Square. Another lone soul in London. It would appropriate somehow. I'm gonna read the journal entry that I just got. I 
Daniel's note to sell. I wish I could ask you how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. But you, okay, that's just the thing that I just read. Alright. I guess if I need to, I can come back to that. That's fine, I don't remember that actually. I guess I didn't check it. <laughs> First time I played. Oh. Alexander, is it inside the castle? Okay. In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies oh, well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. It's tough plant. I don't know how to pronounce that, actually. I won't. I can't go in there anyway. this game until I get tired of it, honestly. <laughs> However long that takes. Wine cellar. Don't go to the wine cellar. I will not go to the wine cellar. children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. Alright, yeah this is one part of the game where I just, I just didn't go in because it freaked the hell out of me, but I'm going to suck it up. Scared me so much, nothing even happened. instead of Aquafortes, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, and proves impractical to put it to any use except as a detergent. 
Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution, and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Early alchemy experiment. Alright. Ooh. things I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I wait for them, zealous for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. You do you, bub. You do you. Alright, that's enough of this place. Actually, there's something over here. Um, I'll take that and leave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just a freaking thing. I don't know why that scared me. of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate in the... whatever the hell that was. Oh god. Excuse me? They're, uh, they're in trouble. Oh, man. I need to stop getting freaked out by random things. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. His little remained hidden, and fear she too would be punished. Dang. Alright. Abusive much? I don't like the noises in this game. In fact, I hate them. Yeah, noises like that. Flinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. 
Okay. Thank you. Oh. I hate, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. Don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> Why do I keep playing it? I don't like it. Is that like close? Yeah, that's where I came in. Oh. No, oh, that's not a note that I can read. It's just a note that exists. Where are they? Study. No, oh, thank you. Close. Thank you. Oh, there is a tender pack. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They asked they loudly, be. and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped. That's unfortunate. Oh, I can move the books around. Oh. already here except for the fact that I lit up the area. It's very good that I did that I guess.
This is so tense. Boxes. Okay. Please. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. What My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay. It was waiting for That's me. someone using Discord light mode. in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. This guy just unlocked the liminal spaces. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Peculiar relic. Did I just Okay. Huh. That was interesting. I don't know if I want to deal with that again. Okay. Stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can one. never be too careful, Dan. Alright. Heard the noise, I don't like the noise. Is there oil around here? Oh, but there's that. Ah, oh, yes, very good. Aldstadt and Burning Bird Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is, a pictura is as pitch picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. 
bodies rot by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Oops. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom past. Of ki as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and, and what happened to him? Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron the Baron of Brittenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at this castle nearby Altstadt. Unlike most of those of noble birth, and like most of those of normal, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander. A nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. Alright, that's a, that was a bit of a long read. Where else do I go now? Ooh, a key. the key to the wine cellar. Another one. Garden closing of the wine cellar. But Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff, the sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to wait for their investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the kingsmen leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would in a sense solve both of my problems. Okay. I'd like to have a dinner box. If you can give me one, that would be amazing. I need to find a way back to the wine cellar. As the um, passage was blocked. Oh. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. They're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. Ooh. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. 
Let's get the servants working on it. I have three dinner boxes now. You good? There's no way for me to get back from there. So I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. And I can't just go in here. Something's changed. What the hell? Okay. I saw you. I saw him. here and nothing's over here anymore said the tomb had been revealed. Ten Hanan awaits, grinned the toothless for men. What? Excuse me? What the? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Um... Not going there ever again. Okay, the wine cellar. I have the key to the wine cellar. That's not the wine cellar. <laughs> Alright, where's the wine cellar? Over there. This is the wine cellar. <sighs> oh. Okay. I'm gonna put oil in my lamp first. Oh, I... I'm using the key. way to his tired body as he fell down from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Are there any light sources around here? Or not? I don't want to go yet. But I think I'm going to stop playing for now. And just continue this another time. And I'm gonna...
to watch anime. No, I guess. Goodbye.